Hi, and welcome to RoboLink Learn. I'm Megan, Director of Education for RoboLink. RoboLink Learn is your one-stop shop for everything from learning how to program to accessing DroneLab. This will be your home base for all RoboLink content and resources. In this video, we will take a look at how to navigate through the platform and resources, the different activities you might encounter, and what it looks like to code with a lesson. Navigating RoboLink Learn. The main page that you will land on is your homepage. From here, you can select which product you are using. For today, let's take a look at the Codrone EDU. Once you're on this page, you'll be able to navigate through a few resources. You can access help in our documentation page here and the drone lab from here. Under start here, you'll find the getting started with Codrone EDU course that everyone should begin with. You can also access our videos that are associated with the Codrone EDU from here. And at the bottom, you will see all the courses you have access to associated with that product. Each course will show you the time frame, how many lessons are in the course, and its difficulty. We can see what is in a course by clicking on it. Once you're in a course, you'll be able to see all of the units in that course. When you click on a specific unit, you'll be able to see all of the lessons in that unit. When you look at an individual lesson, you'll be able to see a short description, how many activities it has, and whether you have started it or not. If we click explore, we'll be taken into that lesson. On the lesson page, you will be able to see the objectives and standards for that lesson, the vocabulary and blocks you will learn about, and any material or prerequisites you might need before starting. We can start a lesson by clicking Start Lesson or selecting an activity bubble at the top of the page. Types of activities. As you explore the activities, you'll notice a variety of types from reading to listening or watching a video. Each will have an interactive component that might include drawing, answering questions, logging vocabulary, analyzing code, and you will of course find plenty of coding activities. Code along activities. Let's take a look at what a code along activity will look like. On the left side, you'll have your instructions, reference code, and any info that will help you complete the activity. Sometimes the activity will start with code already loaded. This will often happen when the program requires you to use pieces of code you haven't learned yet. Your job will be to complete the code using what you learned about in the lesson. Once you've completed the activity, you can mark it as complete. We really hope that RoboLink Learn serves as a hub for your learning and makes it easy to access all of our resources. The next step in your journey is only a click away. You can check out the rest of our onboarding videos or get started with a lesson. From the whole team, we welcome you to RoboLink Learn.